three Apple Valley High School fabrication and welding students compete in Kentucky in the National Skills USA welding finals. I'm Bryce Avance, and this is the Skills USA co fabrication contest. Uh, my name is Ryan Mindel. Uh, and how do you spell your last name, Ryan? M E I N D L. Ryan, what uh, what's your role on this team? Uh, I'm the captain, or and then the uh, stick welder or arc welding. What's your name? Uh, Jaden Roop. How do you spell your last name? Is uh, it J A Y D E? -N? Yes, sir. And last name? How do you spell it? R O U P E. Okay. I'm uh, oxy welding, uh, or MIG welding, and some flux core welding. Uh, so kind of an all around everything I do. I'm the TIG welder. What, what is it? The TIG welder. What, what is a TIG welder? It's a different process of welding. The consumable electrode melts the metal and you dip a filler rod into it to make the weld and to fuse the two pieces of metal together. Uh, MIG welding, so you have a, a gun with the trigger and it's the wires fed through the gun, the copper wire. Um, and then I do flux core welding, it's the same thing as stick welding, just same thing as MIG, just with a flux coating on the outside of that wire. It's a GMAW, G-M-A-W, and it's a type of process that we use, uh, which we have a stinger and an electrode that has a continuous burn. We're high school fabrication, so we uh, they give us a design set plans of what they want us to build for, for nationals. Usually they give us material, what we want to build. This one, they give us what we need to build, what materials we're using, and how we're going to build it, and how much time, which is six and a half hours. So with the teamwork process, we all have to take our own like the chunk of the carry our own weight you know if it makes sense where one person's cutting one person's welding one person's grinding or sanding uh, we got to make it work and flow like a river you know you can't have any obstructions uh, and with these practices it helps build as a team and prepares us for our competition in Kentucky so this is a rocket stove uh, so what it technically what it does is right here you have your wood feeder and it feeds it down into here in the bottom here and it creates your uh, your smoke or flame or whatever you want to use and then it builds up into here you put your meat on top and you barbecue up here this latch folds open here um, then you have a little slide here where the ash falls out to clean it all out push it back in and on the back you have uh, you can do it called a potato, a potato warmer uh, you feed your potatoes with aluminum foil and slide them in here at the top and then take them out at the bottom that way they're warm nice we are practicing so we build two of them, here's one, and we're building in the middle of building another one. And when we get there to Kentucky, we have to build a whole another one in six and a half hours. Uh, it's more mentally uh, challenging knowing the time, uh, working with all these materials and hoping to get everything cut right and under the time constraint. Uh, but with these practices, it helps a lot to build that confidence up and prepare us for this weekend. Right, so what's the toughest part of it? Is it the time pressure or is the, the, the craftsmanship? Almost everything. We have to cut everything and make sure everything fits nice and we run into problems and we run into things that work well. It, it's real challenging uh, with if there's hiccups you're going to have to fix those hiccups. There's, that takes time. We don't have much time, of course, uh, so everything has to f process just right and cut just right and everything. What classes have you taken at Apple Valley High School in welding and fabrication? Uh, so uh, actually a lot of uh, physics. Physics helped me out a lot with this. And then I've been a welding student for four years, so we took the, the SOLIDWORKS class. We do all your computer design. Then, you know, you do your intermediate and go through all your welds, stick welding, TIG welding, MIG welding, uh, oxygen settling welding. Um, and then you go to the advanced class and that's when you, you know, make your own projects. So learning and figuring it out on yourself and having Penfold teach us and help us out kind of prepares us for everything. But learning the math between, you know, normal math and physics and trying to get everything put together is what really helped me. That's very, good. very, very good. Thank you for these comments. Thank We're you. flying out Sunday morning. Yeah. To right now rainy. Yeah, rainy, humid Kentucky. Kentucky, so uh, good luck. Look forward to hearing your Thank results. you. Down Home Grill, Victorville online report. Brought to you by the Down Home Grill. Burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Breakfast from organic eggs. Great food, homemade, GMO, and many gluten-free. Down Home Grill, Ridgecrest off Bear Valley Road, Victorville.